All right. Hey, uh, so Tommy, uh, 68 GS wants to know on discord how to make, uh, switch tracks in railroads online that, uh, meet, uh, diverging track directly to diverging track without, uh, any extra pieces in between. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, show y'all how to do that. All right. Uh, here we go. And um, let's see. OK, yeah. Um, we've got some rail here. Uh, we're going to put down. This is not going to be easy to see over here. Let's see if somewhere with a little less grass. Maybe I should have figured this out before I started recording. <laughs> uh, you know what? We could just throw some groundworks down. Yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, eh, eh, what about the other side? Probably still going to be pretty grassy. Yep. All right, we'll throw some groundwork down real quick. Oop. Um, <clears throat> right. For the uh, purposes of this little demo, this should be fine. All right. Uh, whoops. So um, we'll put a uh, switch rail down here. Actually, have I have I got enough groundwork? The answer is no. It appears. All right. Let's be a little bit more uh, structured about this, shall we? Uh, so let's put a piece out like so. Put a down next to it and i think if we put it make it three wide that should be uh plenty okay, high. all right something like that um this should give us enough space all right so let's say we've uh oops let's actually say we've put this switch track down because uh this is assuming we're making like a crossover shape um then uh the way that we can get Another uh, switch track to line up with this perfectly is um, we come here to the diverging rail where we want the junction to be. We're going to put down any switch track. doesn't really matter uh, which way it goes. Uh, we'll come down here to the end. We'll lay a crossover track. We'll delete that first switch track. Now we want, uh, we want our rail to come through this way. Um, so we're aiming for uh, a point to the left here. We'll use a left-facing switch track. Basically, we're looking to uh, find this point right here, which we'll mark with a crossover. Um, now we can go ahead and uh, delete both of those. Don't need those anymore. And in fact, they may just get in the way. Um, so from here, we're going to go ahead and put down any switch track. Again, doesn't matter which one, because uh, this one we are only using to find the opposite side, which we'll mark again with a crossover track. Um, then we will delete that uh, switch track that we laid. And when we lay down the switch track here from the crossover track, we will see that the uh, diverging rails line up perfectly. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's how you do it. Uh, of course, there is another way. Um, if, you, if you want your track spaced a little bit uh, wider, um, there is another way to do it. Uh, which involves more crossover tracks, of course. Um, but basically, you start back here. Um, actually, this is wrong. Uh, you start up here. And we're going to lay down uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six crossover tracks. We'll lay one to the side, like so. And then when we lay that switch track down, we do uh, get the diverging rails in alignment, but we need to link them. The short little piece of track, like so. Um, so, you know, that's two ways uh, that you can get crossover tracks. Um, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully. 
that is uh, helpful. And uh, yeah, good luck building your railway.